In this video, I'm going to show you the MIDI number pad actions in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I showed you the number pad actions that work with Reaper, but in this video, we're going to focus on the ones that only work with MIDI in the MIDI editor. Now, the number pad on our computer or keyboard is usually to the right of the other keys, the QWERTY keys. So if you have a big enough keyboard, you could access these functions. But don't confuse them with these number keys over here on the QWERTY side. Those have different actions assigned to them. Although there's other ways to access them, just check out your operating system. We're going to focus on the default actions for the number pad keyboard shortcuts. So our project setup here, and right down here we can see I have a MIDI item. If I double click it, it opens up the MIDI editor. And the keyboard shortcuts assigned to them are going to work differently in this window. If we go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, we can see our section is now the MIDI editor. And the keyboard shortcuts assigned to our actions are different in here as they work with MIDI and MIDI notes. So let's go through these. If we hit Find Shortcut and type in on the number pad 1, we can see the number pad 1 is unassigned. So we can assign anything we want to this. And it's the same. For number pad three, five, seven, and nine. So feel free to assign any action in the MIDI editor to those numbers. Let's start off with the number pad two. And we can see that's assigned to move notes down one semitone. And notice you could also use control on the PC or command on the Mac and the down arrow to do the same thing. So if you don't have a number pad, you could also trigger it that way. And if we choose number pad eight, that's assigned to move notes up one semitone. So they work together. So if I select one note over here, hit the two key, it goes down one semitone. Or the eight key goes up one semitone. And it'll work with multiple notes as well. We lasso all these, hit the two key, they all go down one semitone. Or the eight key, they go up. Now you're probably wondering, why not just grab and drag the notes by hand, like this, up and down? But you notice, if you don't keep your hand steady, it might go out of time. So be cautious, and make sure you never mess up the timing of your MIDI notes. We can use the keyboard shortcuts instead. Again, the number pad two to go down, and eight to go up. And next, we have the number pad four key right here, which is going to move our notes left one grid unit. And it works with the six key, which will move the notes right one grid unit. So if we look down here, I have my grid set to eighth notes. So if I select a note, hit the number pad six key, it moves it over one eighth note. We hit the four key, to move it back. If we change our grid size to 16th notes, now it's going to work by 16th notes. And again, we could group the notes and do them together to the right or to the left. Use the number pad four and six keys. And we could also use the plus and minus keys. The plus key is going to zoom in horizontally. And the minus key is going to zoom out horizontally. Hit the plus key, it zooms in horizontally, and the minus key zooms out horizontally. And we could also add modifiers to the number pad to get even more actions. So if we use on the PC Alt or on the Mac Option and 2, it's going to move notes down one octave. Or if we use 8, it's going to move the notes up one octave. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, select the note, hit 2, goes down an octave, or 8 to go up. And again, we could select many notes and do them together, down an octave or up an octave, with the number pad 2 and 8 keys. And using the same modifier, we could use the 4 and 6 keys. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, 4. 
is going to move notes left one pixel. And six is going to move notes right one pixel. So if I select these notes, both on the PC, option on the Mac, and four moves it over one pixel. We could hold it down to move it while holding with a six key to go the other way, the four and the six key. And because it's a pixel, it changes if we zoom out to move even further. Or if we zoom in, it doesn't move as far because it's based on pixels. So zooming in and zooming out affects how much it moves. Now we could also use on the PC, the control key or the Mac, the command key. So if we choose on PC control or Mac command and two, it's gonna decrease the pitch cursor one semitone. And also, if we use the A key, it's gonna increase the pitch cursor one semitone. Now you're probably wondering what the pitch cursor is. If I click over here on the keyboard, notice how this is all selected? That's known as the pitch cursor, which is useful for inserting notes. So to change what note we're using, control on the PC, command on the Mac, hit the A key, to go up or the two key to go down. And this is gonna work with the next action, which is control on the PC, command on the Mac, and four, which moves the edit cursor left by the grid, or six, moves the edit cursor right by the grid. Again, my grid is eighth notes, so we put the cursor at bar two, Control on the PC, command on the Mac, and the six key moves it one eighth note. Or well, the four key moves it back. And if we use this with the pitch cursor for two and eight, makes it easier to insert notes, which is the next keyboard shortcut. Control on the PC, command on the Mac, and five is going to insert note at the edit cursor. So we can move the edit cursor. Holding control on the PC, command on the Mac, and four and six, and the pitch cursor with two and eight, holding down that modifier. But now we could add in the five key to insert a note right there. So we can quickly add notes like this, go down, add a note here, go over, add a note here all from our keyboard, and all while holding down control on the PC and command on the Mac, using two and eight, four and six, and five to insert the note. Now we could also hold on two modifiers to trigger actions. So all control on the PC, option command on the Mac, and the two key is gonna move notes down one semitone, ignoring the scale or key. We'll use the eight key, which is gonna move notes up one semitone, ignoring the scale or a key. So what that means, if we go down here to key snap and set it to a key, I would set to C major. If I select a note like this C and just use the two and eight key, it goes up, but only notes in the C major scale. So it skips C sharp and goes right to D and skips D sharp and goes right to E. So it's based on the scale. So we can't accidentally insert or move on notes to notes that are not in the key. But if we want to bypass that, just add those modifiers. Or control on the PC, option command on the Mac. And now it moves exactly one semitone. So I could add in D sharp, or E flat, or C sharp, or D flat, even if we're using our key snap down here. Of course, if we're not, it doesn't matter. We can just use the two and eight key. But if we are, and we wanna bypass that snapping, just use those modifiers. And it'll move up and down exactly one semitone. And then finally, using those same modifiers, we could use the four and six key. The four key is gonna move our edit cursor left one pixel, and the six key is gonna move the edit cursor right one pixel. 
So if edit cursor is right over here, we want to move it just a bit by one pixel, hold an old control on the PC, option command on the Mac, and use the four and six keys. To go left, pixel by pixel, or hold it down, or right, using the six key, pixel by pixel. So that's pretty much it. That's the MIDI number pad actions in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Mm -hmm.